Are you still playing that Dungeons and Dragons? No dungeons. Just dragons. Arr. <laughs>Hey folks, Dave here. It's time to go create something, don't you think? So a while ago, I don't know how long ago, lost to the mist of time, probably three or four months ago, I 3D printed off this dragon that came from Loot Studios and I painted it up. The idea I had at the time was to make some sort of image out of it. Dragons make awesome looking uh, props. So, hey, dragon. Kind of inspired from the Game of Thrones. Uh, when I was watching the finale of the Game of Thrones, uh, there was a couple scenes that really kind of caught my eye and I captured these, uh, the screenshot of them. And I've always wanted to try to recreate one of those. So I think that's kind of what I had the idea I've had here. And along with that, I printed off uh, this little figure here. Well, it's a girl knight. Uh, we'll be uh, somehow standing off against Mr. Dragon here. And now seems like the perfect time to make that diorama and make that photo. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's also a great time to use up all of this excess foam that I've been kicking around. So the first step in building one of these things is to actually come up with the framing. How big does this need to actually be? Because I'm shooting with a camera, I'm gonna have to worry about what the camera's gonna see. To start off, I'm gonna grab my figures, dump them over in my uh, studio, and just set up a scene and try to get the framing right. Once I have a good composition going, I measure off the uh, edges of the frame on the foam so I know how much room I need to build out. Uh, so now I have my measurements, I can actually start to design what I want this world to look like. Uh, the measurements, just uh, in case you're curious, the front of the frame is about two and a half, I'm about two and a half inches wide, and the back of the frame is um, about three and a half inches wide. Um, so I have that this view here um, that I need to build in. I'm going to build an extra, probably at least an inch, maybe inch and a half on either side. That way, when I'm actually shooting it, I have a little bit more options to place the camera and get the look that I'm looking for. So I am going to assume that my, I'm, my build is gonna be an inch and a half uh, tall, just so I have extra space at the bottom of the frame, just in case I need it, in case my vision that I just did um, changes over time, which let's face it, it's probably going to. As far as looks for this, what I was kind of thinking is maybe having my knight, uh, my heroine, my, I don't know what you call her. What I was thinking of having is this knight um, sitting on some sort of cliff. So you'd have heroine on a cliff facing off against the dragon. Um, right on the edge, the precipice, the point of action, the point of no return. So she's at the precipice, the point of no return, the most dramatic point, facing off against this massive dragon. And and just set that up so it looks like rocky and rough and tumbly. And maybe there's void in between, maybe have some treetops, maybe just some ragged, sharp rocks. I'm not really sure yet. I'll figure that out as I go along. But I think that's going to be my starting point. But actually what my starting point is really going to be is fixing my figure. Because as I was messing around, I broke off her sword. Um, and, well, you can't have a heroine without a sword. So first step, fix the heroine. And then I'll get on to building.
So I have a good start on my uh, rocky outcropping here, and I only finished the little section in here. And if you're thinking to yourself, but Dave, what about the rest of it? You're thinking like somebody making a diorama, and I'm not making a diorama, I am making a film set essentially. And the only thing I need to fill out is the bits that are gonna be in camera, which are these bits right here. I have everything here ready to go. The uh, drywall compound is dried, so it's ready to be painted. Uh, for painting purposes, I am going to uh, cover in a coating of black paint and Mod Podge, which will both seal the foam. Also cover all of the green so it's black, so it won't do any uh, color casting into the photo when I actually get that far. And then finally, the black is going to add a nice base, so when I put the colors on top of it, everything should look well. My painting scheme is 10, start dark, get lighter and lighter as you go along. For this space here, I have these... Um, miniature trees which I think I'm going to fit right in there um, just so it looks like the knight will be sitting up here and looking over a tree forested thing which I think will give the whole piece a sense of scale even though it is kind of uh, zoomed in up close so that's my plan I'm going to go on and get that finished <laughs> 